exciting, exciting game today. I um, this team never ceases to surprise me. They uh, they have prevailed through so many different uh, adversities and situations, and and this was just another one where this team uh, showed their grit, showed their grind, and sh and showed their focus. Uh, it was it was a tough battle tonight. There was a lot of adversity going around, and I I'm not allowed to really talk too much more about it. But it was it was a little bit frustrating for us. But all the credit to uh, UCLA. That was an incredible team. Um, that was a tough opponent, and um, you know it was it was incredible, incredible result. At the end of regulation, there I know they get the goal there in the last two minutes to tie it. But is it because maybe you've got a veteran group that's been around. Did you have to say much? I just had to, I, I, I think, I, you know, when, when you're in a position like this and it's at a two minute mark, you're so frustrated. And all you do is look back and, and worry about what just happened. And I just wanted them to look forward. And I just kept saying, we got to look forward. We got to look forward. Don't worry about what just happened. We, we just got to beat UCLA. So pretty much that, that's what we discussed. And we, we kind of put our heads down and decided what we needed to do moving forward. How did the conditions affect your game plan coming into the match with the snow and the wind? Yeah, I mean, I, obviously it affected both teams, but uh, you know, you guys know we, you know, we like to possess the ball, and you know, there was there was times when we couldn't because of the conditions of the field, and we just had to figure out different methods of uh, getting into the attack and being effective. Um, so, you know, it was it was frustrating because. Um, I don't think we got to play the way we necessarily wanted to play, but I thought we, we showed uh, great effort today. How big was it to get the goal there? I think the 23rd minute, Shania got oh, yeah. the goal right huge. away. It was, huge. Yeah. it was huge. It was huge. Uh, it was, you know, again, it was just, uh, you know, one more opportunity and one more momentum that we needed, and, you know, Nia did her job, and it was incredible, and obviously Newhouse had a great game. It was just unfortunate uh, on that goal. Michelle, uh, what was going through your mind as the second overtime came to an end and your team was getting ready for PKs? What were you thinking about? What were your teammates telling you? Um, just that we've been here before. You know, a couple years back in the Big 12 tournament, uh, we came out with the same outcome. Um, we were pretty confident. You know, we practiced all the time. And I just told them they just had to make theirs and I'll come up with a few, and that's what happened. Um. When Fleming came up and they had just stopped Michaela's shot, uh, obviously an Olympian, uh, Keisha and Ashley, were they able to give you any kind of advice on which way, did you have an inkling which way she might be going? I don't, I don't even honestly look who's coming up. I just, <laughs> I just try and focus on the ball and then try and read it what way they're going. So I d couldn't even tell you who was taking kicks today. <laughs> Fleming, Fleming can go both ways, and that's what was we knew she could go either way and Michelle was just worried about doing her job not worried about the the kicker I think Michelle you and I had a conversation the, the after the big 12 tournament when you had Texas in the PKs and the semifinals that, that you told me that you thought you know the pressure is really on the shooter mm -hmm. more so than you yeah. is that that's kind of mindset that you take into this yeah because you know the goal is only you know so big but they know where they're going. I'm trying to guess and figure it out. So it's all on them. They just have to try and put it away, and I'm just trying to guess the right way. And that's that's Newhouse's strength. She's a reactionary, and um, we've always had that uh, definite uh, confidence in her, and she just did her thing like she's done before to get us uh, survive in advance. Now I noticed before the game you were the last person to take the warm-up off. You threw it on the sideline right before kickoff. <laughs> um, what was it like for you to play in these conditions and to score in these conditions? Um, well, I've always – well, I've been playing in this posi in this condition, so I wasn't really surprised. I just forgot to take my jacket off. <laughs> but <laughs> but Esther yelled at me. She was like, take your jacket off. Like, threw it to the side. But it's not really surprising whether I've been up here before. So. And then the goal – what, what was that play like? Um, well, I knew the conditions were going to be slick, and I knew it was just going to go over the goalie's head. So I just tried to get my foot on it and try to get an early goal for us and get some momentum for my team. And I thought that really like helped us like get in the groove and stuff like that because that was a great team. Um, 
Coach, second time you'll see Duke. Um, since the situation you were in last year, where you were playing a team in the that you beat earlier in the season, how tough is that to play a team the second time this late in the season? Yeah, it's tough. I mean, we, you know, look what we had to do against Ohio State. We had to go into overtime. So both teams definitely have some familiarity with each other and understanding of each other. But uh, again, there's been a long season in between the last time we were up uh, at Duke. And obviously, I have all the respect in the world for what Robbie does up there, and his team's incredible. And uh, they were able to uh, win on the road last year and, and march to that Final Four. So we know we're going to have our hands full. That's an exceptionally awesome uh, Duke team. And this whole year is about you know, hopefully getting yourself in position. If you have a, a lead eight game, you get to stay in Morgantown. Yeah, it was you know a whole lot different than last year having to go um, on the road. So it's, it's going to be a nice um, reward for our hard work and, and being home for that game.